To set up Android Auto and connect your Google Pixel 9 Pro to your car, first of all you have to be sure that you have the latest version of Android Auto application. So open the Google Play Store, click on the search, input this phrase, and be sure that you have the latest version of this application. If you don't have, just simply update. Now, when you do this, go to the settings, select connected devices, and go into the connection preferences. Now go for Android Auto. And now we have to start from connection by clicking on the connected car. And we've got actually three different methods. The first one, I mean, probably you want to connect this by using Bluetooth, right? So let's switch into the connect, connect using wireless Android Auto. And now we've got two options. So you can actually enter for the pairing mode on your car. It actually depends on what car you have and what is the interface there. But if you can actually enter for the pairing mode on your car, you can click to connect using the Bluetooth, click to pair a car, and now when you select pair new device on your Google Pixel 9 Pro, then your car should be available right here. And you will have to click on the name of your car and accept pairing request. But if you don't have this option, you can simply go back and you can enter um, with this pairing for this uh, with this button on the steering wheel. So you will have to press and hold the voice command button to Bane setup. It's available in some 2021 or newer cars. And also we can get the wired connection with the cable. So you will have to connect the USB cable and you can use double USB-C cable that actually comes in the box of your uh, Google Pixel 9 Pro. But also we can use any other cable with the USB-A end and you will have to get started by connecting cable to the Android Auto compatible port in your card, car. And then you will have to plug it inside your phone. Of course, the USB-C port is located right here. And after you actually connect, then you will be connected in your screen interface in the car. And you will have to just basically perform the last steps. Um, you know, the fir first setup screen. And after this, you can still customize some options. Like uh, right here, you can start music automatically, start Android Auto while locked. Or for example, you can customize the launcher. So we can add or remove apps or change the, their position like that. And also we can set the Google Assistant and some other options. There's like a lot of options to customize. So you just have to spend a few minutes and until you set up everything to fit your preferences. Thanks for watching.